So we have some really, really great news to start off with, which is wild that I'm saying this because it's been a real while since I've said this because it has not happened for a real while. But the maybe great news to start is, is that the house has now officially approved of a brand new Ford stimulus bill related to gases. So as many of you guys may or may not know, the big thing is, is that there were many, many programs that were popping out related to gas checks, gas prices, con dealing, dealing with inflation. Well, the great news is that one of the bills has now officially been approved inside of the house. Now, this is actually very, very significant. There was someone I know that commented a suggestion that they really wanted me to just pretty much share who each of these bills would actually physically apply to. So the story is that what's really cool about this new program is that it is a bill that would apply to all 50 states, so all across the country. It of course definitely applies to anyone that drives because they obviously have a car and this is related to gases. But it does actually also impact a lot of the things that's going to happen for just even people that do not drive. The idea really is that if you are just someone that is just an American citizen and if you just buy things in general, this is actually gonna be very, very relatively important and it's gonna make a lot more sense and a little bit why. So in today's update, I pretty much just wanna talk all about this brand new build that was just approved in the house, all of its details, the background story, everything that you pretty much need to know and maybe just what to potentially speculate and predict coming up next. So all of the good stuff. So with that being said, we're gonna get started, but as always the same, same exact drill. Remember to smash the like button if you guys hopefully enjoy videos like this. At least we are also sharing something positive and you know, that they're making progress in today's video. So it is a lot of good things. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell. If you guys are brand new here or you guys can watch to the end of the side, huge thanks if you guys have been here for a while. Welcome back. And as always, feel free to comment any questions, any personal thoughts, or honestly, just really anything at all. It's really always great to hear from you guys. So with that being said, let's get this video started right on the spot. So the background story maybe to start about what really ended up happening is that if you are watching this on release date, yesterday the house essentially got together and decided to put onto a vote this brand new fourth stimulus bill related to gas prices. And the really great news is, is that it was approved under a vote of 217 to 207. So in other words, 217 people voted in favor of it, 207 people were against it. Every single Republican was against it, and then four Democrats were also against it. But thankfully, all of the other Democrats did support it, which was what it was able to make it so that it was able to go through. Now, how does this bill exactly work is, is that essentially what this is, is, is that it's a bill that's meant to prevent the excessive price increases that have been happening inside of our country. So essentially what this is, and we'll explain a little bit about why this applies to every single person, regardless of whether you're a driver or not, is that it's really a program meant to control inflation. That is the biggest reason why it's really, really important. Because right now, as most of you guys know, we currently have record high inflation of 8%. Feel free to share any stories about what gas is like in your particular state. I might even make a poll on my page maybe to like maybe vote on because I think it's, it is actually something very interesting to see. But the way this program would essentially work is, is that it's going to now create a bill to put into law to essentially prevent a lot of big gas and energy companies. So it's also related to energy prices as well. It's going to essentially prevent them from increasing their cost any further. And so this is actually very, very, very particularly important because if you are someone that obviously happens to be a driver, then it is very, very straightforward. Hopefully now they can try to control or limit the cost of gas so that it doesn't have to keep going up and getting super, super expensive. I have heard stories that apparently from some friends in real life that in California right now, people there are now currently paying for right around $8 per gallon. So that is a very wild thing, especially if you are someone that has to actually drive regularly because you either live in the middle of nowhere or because you just have to do it for a work-related requirement. So the big idea is that it's going to help control for anyone that happens to be a driver. Now, how is this going to impact us? Is Let's say, for example, we are not drivers. And I totally feel it there because I'm personally actually a 
biker. Fun fact, outside of this, I don't really own a car. It's one of the biggest expenses I try my best to save. So as a result, I pretty much rely on sneakers, so traveling by foot, by bike, and then also by public transportation. And basically, many things, but just not cars. So how this relates to us is, is because one of the reasons why you might be noticing if you go into just shopping in general, whether this is things like in grocery shops, stores, any kind of physical product, if you are someone that simply put just buy things in general, you might have noticed why very, very lately, it seems like almost everything has been really, really skyrocketing in prices. And the reason why so many prices have been increasing is because the expense has also increased to be able to physically produce or get that particular product. So what this really relates maybe in simple terms is, is that because everything that we buy out there, any physical product that you can hold, whether it's our clothes, whether it's obviously food, or whether it's this teapot that I have in my hand, the big thing is, is that it has to be moved somehow. Furniture, everything has to be moved. So if you start to increase the gas prices, then it also means that the shipping cost will also start to increase. And anyone that has ever ran any kind of business that relates to shipping a product when you have to ship out potentially thousands of units of a certain something, and I feel it there because I used to do a lot of e-commerce as well, one of the things that anyone that's in that world knows is about how expensive shipping costs can be. So if the gas prices starts to go up, it also means that the shipping prices starts to also go up, which also means that even beyond gases themselves, the cost of the goods that we buy also has to go up because they have to try to increase the prices to make up for the loss of profit because of how expensive or the increased expense that's now currently happening inside of our country. So by creating this bill, why this is so important is that if they're able to limit the cost of gas and control it, it also means that they can hopefully now also as well control the cost of goods in general, which means that for us, our benefit is, is that regardless of, again, whether we drive, it means that we're able to now buy things and live a certain, hopefully a reasonable, but certain quality of life for better value than what would be if everything just started to skyrocket and it becomes so expensive that now we're starting to hesitate and hold on to our money because we're so afraid of spending it because of how expensive things have really gotten. And totally, definitely feel free to share any stories if you guys have any. I can certainly tell, for example, is back way before the pandemic, I used to eat out regularly. Today, I'm at home a lot more because the reason is that I'm trying to you know, save a lot of money because eating out has become very particularly expensive. I did make a video, maybe huge side insert, it talks a little bit about tips and tricks to try to be able to save money. So if you are someone that's maybe currently on a financial budget type situation and you're looking for some tips and tricks, highly recommend checking that video. It will be at the very, very end screen on the top. But when it comes to all of these gas related situations, basically the bottom line is the goal is that they want to try to control a lot of these prices because in our case, we will now potentially benefit from cheaper gases, but also from cheaper cost of just the things that we typically buy but it also on top of that on just a quality of life perspective it also allows businesses to continue running because one of the big things is is that there are a lot of businesses and this is again very very related because many of the businesses that we hopefully you know like to shop if not i mean there's certainly businesses that sell necessities that we may have to use Many, many businesses right now, especially consumer businesses, so for example, like Target, Costco, any kind of product-related retail business, they're going through a lot of things right now because even though they're not necessarily making less money in terms of revenue, so I'll use an example of like Target, and this is very, very important, so maybe important to hear out, but Target is a company that when you look at their revenue in general, they're actually doing really, really well. And for anyone that actually follows the stock market, they probably know that Target is a stock where they recently just released their earnings report. Basically, if you're not familiar with the stock market, is that every quarter a company will release that certain document and it's just going to show and highlight all of the details about everything related to their financials, how much money they're making, how much money maybe they're spending, everything related to that. So Target is a company where in their last earnings report was actually really, really 
let's just say really, really bad actually. And the reason why it ended up actually really, really severely underperforming was that because it turns out that for Target as a company, and I'm just using it as an example, this, this applies to many other companies as well, but Target is just the one that was the most, one of the ones that was the most impacted. They ended up finding out that even though Target's revenue did not necessarily change too much in the sense that they're still very profitable and making lots of money, the biggest problem though is, is that their expenses also skyrocketed. So even though they were able to collect from their sales and everything that they do, the same amount of money, after they deducted the expenses because of how expensive things are costing, which goes back to gas, inflation, and everything, which is what this video has been about, they realized that the net profit actually went down very, very significantly. So an example is imagine if you ran a business where you're able to sell $1 million worth of goods today, and maybe three months from now, you are still able to sell $1 million worth of goods. But then the problem is that maybe today, your expense was only about 500,000. So after all expenses, you were able to take home 500,000. But maybe, you know, in a couple of months, your expense jumps up to about six or seven hundred thousand. So now instead, you're really only able to take home three to four hundred thousand. That is the reason why many, many businesses sometimes might struggle, not because they're not able to physically bring home money, but because they also lose almost as much money as they physically bring home. So it's difficult to make that actual net income. So just for terminology, revenue is how much money you make, like just in general before expense, after expense, so revenue minus expense, whatever is left, that's pretty much your income. They found that the income has dropped very, very drastically, and it's really across the board. Even people that are now making more money in terms of income, there are many people where they make more money, but they don't make enough money to accommodate the increased prices or how much more expensive everything has really gotten inside of our world or in our side of our country today. But it technically is very much something that's going on around the world, so it is very, very related in that particular sense. But the big idea really is that what's really really great is is that now that we have this bill that is going through the house which actually already again already went through the house which is the really really great news um the idea is is that now it's going to be on the road to sen the senate now it is very very questionable and debatable whether or not it's going to approve inside of the senate there is a lot of belief that it might potentially struggle. But the big idea is that at least it's already halfway there. And the big idea is, is that at least they're making progress. I think at the core, at the end of the day, both parties, everyone, Republican, Democrat, just talking about objectively, they all agree that they want to control inflation. I think that's something where everyone is on the same exact page. But the big idea is, is that they just don't know, they don't fully agree in terms of the how they want to physically do it. And that is something that we probably have to stay tuned to hear about in maybe the upcoming next couple episodes of this show basically so with that being said if you guys made it to the end thank you guys so much for watching as always stay safe stay well if you guys haven't done so that's pretty much what i really wanted to cover so remember to smash the like button if you guys haven't done so consider subscribing hitting the bell and as always feel free to comment any questions personal thoughts about honestly anything so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching as always stay safe stay well if you're watching this on release day have an amazing wonderful weekend and hope to see you guys next time thank you guys so much again